Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today we are going to see another interesting example of Groovy. In today's example, I will be calculating variances and this calculation and validation take place through Groovy. So I am going to calculate revised forecast and prediction percentage and the variance between both of them and variance is supposed to be in between certain range. This Groovy script I will associate with data form and then it will prevent user to save data form if the condition is not met. Let's see the requirement. So I have this requirement over here. I have a revised forecast which in turn have got two children forecast and adjustment forecast. Well, I need to calculate revised forecast versus prediction percentage. So my planners are going to input forecast number over here. Uh, let's say I input 300 and I would be performing an adjustment under adjustment forecast and my prediction. Now I need to calculate revised forecast versus prediction percentage. This is to be calculated on the fly. In my application, I have written a business rule and a member formula. I have written a member formula where revised forecast versus prediction percent to be calculated. The formula is fairly straightforward. So revised forecast minus prediction forecast divided by revised forecast. We are calculating percentage and this percentage should be in between. I define the range. It has to be under plus minus 20%. If this uh, revised forecast versus prediction forecast percentage doesn't fall under this range, my system will throw up an error message and prevent me to input the prevent me to save the data form, right? So formula, for example, I input this number. What is my formula? This is going to calculate revised forecast. So I put in parenthesis revised forecast, which is in turn sum of, you know, both of them. I manually run the sum, the sum of both. Though it's a smart view, if I make a dynamic, I'll submit this number. The calculation will take place on the fly. Let me refresh it. Okay, this is. The formula I put in a notepad. Remove from here and refresh. So this this is 16% calculator on the fly, right? And the range supposed to be between plus to minus 20%, right? I define a range over here. So system will throw up an error message if my variance is not with the range. This is a range. So this is outside the range. This is within the range. Had it been outside the range, then I'll get an error message. I make it as a 700 and submit this number. Now this is outside the range and I'll get an error message over here. So I put the same thing in a data form. Let's see. I manually input the number. This is 35 percent. I change this number to 300. Submit this. This is within the range 16 percent, right? And if I make it more than 20 percent, which is negative, then system will pop up an error message. So I'll increase this number to it's a 900. And this is a validation error, right? When I put it 900, what should be the value? So, uh, 300, 200, and 900 because it does not let me save the number. You don't see the updated value over here. So, I put a 900 uh, in April, March, 300, 200, and 900. Or maybe I can simply refresh 300, 200, and 900. And when I submit this, there's 80 percent, which is not within the range. It means my variance is outside the range and therefore it it doesn't let me save the number though I can save the number from a smart view but not through data form. So this validation rule I need to enforce and let's see how to do that. Okay, so the, all the calculation I'm going to do it on the fly and then I apply the validation rule. Let's see. So how I'm going to do it step by step. First I calculate I read revise forecast then I read uh, step one, I read 
revise forecast to groovy script step 2 i read a predictive forecast and then i apply formula step 3 what is my formula formula i have written over here like the formula is revise forecast minus predictive forecast divided by revise forecast that's my formula and then i apply validation rule so this percentage the step 3 output or the output of this should be in between the range so i apply a range over here the output of this should be between minus 20% Two plus twenty percent. If it is not in the range, system will throw up me an error message. Let's see step by step. So in this example, I'm going to create a new rule, and I associate this rule with my data form. Step one: create a rule. So I'm going to create a rule. This is a groovy script type rule. Uh, new rule. I'm using enterprise edition so I can write a uh, groovy my my license type is enterprise I create a new rule call this is I'm going to calculate revise forecast versus prediction percentage so I call this variance variance test and then go to editor Select your editor type as Groovy. This is a calculation script. Just switch to Groovy script engine. Right. Now I need to traverse the entire you know data form one by one. All the cell and test the condition. So first I create data grid object. Give some name object type. This will refer refer to my operation dot grid. So in other in in other word, uh, I'm going to refer my operation dot grid. It will read the entire data form as as an array, and then I use a grid iterator. Use some object name itr, and this will refer to my grid dot data object data cell iterator. So I browse through all the member one by one and test the condition, right? What member I want to read it? I want to read all the members of revised forecast versus prediction percentage. And the parenthesis, what member you like to read, you can pass as an argument. Then I browse one by one entire uh, each cell one by one. So I use a each object, open and close in curly braces and read one by one. So I create a variable. Step one, I'm going to read my forecast, right? And then read, revise forecast, read predictive forecast, and then calculate the difference. And uh, my revised forecast is actually a sum of, revised forecast is actually a sum of forecast plus adjustments. Right, so I can write a formula over here plus adjustment forecast. So I'm going to read uh, forecasts, create some variable, variable name, and in order to read the data, I can use cross, you know, cross dim operator, cross dim cell function, which takes the argument as a dimension member. So what are you going to read? I'm going to read forecast with the intersection of working version. Maybe working version you can put in a um, in a in a row. So intersection of forecast and working version. I'm reading data, so use a data object. The next step, I'm going to read revised forecast. I create another variable reference or revised forecast. The variable name could be anything, but I prefer to use naming convention. 
revised forecast and the forecast value I put in a revised forecast because I want to maintain the value of revised forecast before change and after change. Then I'm going to read adjustment forecast and then I'd sum it up. This become a total forecast. Revised forecast is sum of forecast plus adjustment forecast. So I'm going to read revised forecast. Adjustment forecast. And I use call difference operator cross dim cell. The name of your member, I can take it from here adjustment forecast. Make sure there is a space, make sure you remove the space. And then I'm going to add it up. Uh, reading data, so dot data. So I got forecast and I got adjustment forecast value. I'm going to sum it up. So simply sum it up in a variable called revise forecast equals to forecast value plus adjustment. Isn't it? That is what is happening here. See. Forecast plus adjustment forecast that is going to aggregate become revised forecast. Right? In order to calculate this formula, I suppose to have revised forecast. Okay. I could directly read directly from my data form as well. That's an alternate way. Uh, well, you can do this, you know, based on condition. For example, I say I would like to apply a condition. Calculate revised forecast only when there is a value in adjustment forecast variable. It means I don't want to run this calculation all the time only when the condition is true and that's my condition okay next step i'm going to read predictive forecast this is the one right so just copy paste or probably i can write new variable call predict value equals to cross so this is typo I just change this is called predictive forecast now I need to apply this formula so I would like to apply the formula same as I've written in Excel device forecast minus predictive forecast divided by device forecast that's my formula so I apply this formula by using variable. What is my river? device forecast value? Device forecast, name of my variable, minus predictive forecast. That's this is my variable value. Divide by y, revised forecast. And this I'm going to store under a variable called variances. So I create a new variable called variance and store the value over there. Name of the variable is variance percent equals to this. I like to apply this variance only when there's a value exists in my predictive and device forecast. So I mean, it's optional. I always use a conditional expression. Therefore, you know, you can limit your uh, the scope of calculation. Right, so this is how your calculation would be faster. Apply only when there is a value in, uh, in my revised forecast and predictive forecast. The calculation will take place. Okay, so I put this in a parenthesis. Now I have to apply uh, if the variance percent is supposed to be in certain range. If it is not in range, then I like to pop up an error message. So I'm going to apply a range. So if variance percentage is greater than 20%, right, and less than minus 20%, I apply and operator. 
less than minus 20 percent 0 0.20 then i want to pop up an error message so as we discussed in the previous class we can apply a validation message called object name dot add validation error validation error and first argument is a cell color i like to display this in a yellow color so i use this expression so this i extracted this uh, from oracle document so this is a hexadecimal code for my yellow color then i can give a validation message i'm going to put a validation message over here variance is outside of the allowed range and make sure your parentheses are closed number of parentheses are open this is one this one is closed here yeah so number of parentheses are open and closed make sure they are balanced uh, once you do this you are supposed to validate your code and uh, you should apply this code right so i'm going to validate this code and then we deploy it let's validate this code i make sure i use a you know, parenthesis i just balance the parenthesis parenthesis and indentation as well so validate save and validate both no error and then i'm going to deploy this and finally i'm going to associate this with data form i already created data form so i'll associate this data form before save right deployment done successfully name of my business rule variance test so this is my sample data form right i'm going to associate this the business rule with this data form so it will prevent me to save the numbers if the condition is not met so go to your data form uh, well, I already associate one business rule. I remove it and use my business rule. Predictive planning. Forecast versus prediction. Go to business rule. Well, this is already you know, deployed. I use my rule, the one I prepared a few minutes before. Validate for car, validate test. The name of my business rule. Uh, is a valid variance test okay variance test this is my rule and when do you want to run it i want to run it before i save it so that it will prevent me to input a wrong number isn't it if the variance is not in the range it will not let me save the numbers and i want to apply an aggregation when i hit the save button save not let's test this So I open the same form into I did this into a smart view and in a data form. In smart view, the rule does not uh, does not meet the condition will not be tested in a smart view, but in the data form I associate the business rule. So let's first test the number in us uh, in our Excel in a smart view. I put this number 200, 220, 300 submit this and see what is the expected output this is plus 20 50 28.57 percentage it is outside of the range through a smart way i can input number but through data form i cannot right let's see i put exactly same numbers because this is, this is voiding my rule the rule says the number the range supposed to be in between minus to plus 20 percent and uh, see I'm putting this number same in tone for the month of May 220, 200, and 300. The moment I hit the save button, a rule runs and I get an error message. See, I got an error message stating that one or more data validation rule associated with the cell failed to evaluate due to error. And because I use a you know color, yellow color, therefore the calculation did not take place. For April, May, March, April, May, for all these three sales, the condition is false. 
therefore it doesn't let me save the number right? it prevents me now look at the code and the output together quickly right same thing which i what i said step one you create a data grid, grid object then you iterate entire data form uh, cell by cell because you use cell iterator for revised forecast versus prediction for this member okay then i read the intersection of forecasting versus uh, scenario versus version so my forecast versus working version and i'm going to read uh, the data for the intersection of forecast versus working you could have only read forecast data only this way also it works probably i can use an intersection right i later on add an intersection forecast and adjustment forecast forecast and adjustment forecast both of them i read then i add them up and it calculate revised forecast calculate revised forecast and then after calculate revised forecast i calculate predictive forecast right predict forecast and then i check the formula revised forecast my predictive forecast divided by revised forecast so i'm calculating variance percentage and the variance percentage is not in between plus to minus 20 percent then system will throw up an error message with your yellow color cell right so once you create your data form then make sure you validate and deploy it you can save and validate both together and deploy and because this data form this business rule is associated with data form on an event before save isn't it before save so every time i input a number which doesn't fall under this limit i'll get an error message and it will not let me save the number Put the number and then we click save business rule run you can check the business rule uh the condition is false right for this intersection okay and as a result of this you can see the rule under application job application job the rule varies variance test rule run status is completed with no message right so that's it for today uh, should you have any consulting and training requirement please reach out to bsp solutions.com thank you